Hey YouTube, Uranium Man here. Sorry I haven't put a video up for a little bit, but I've had some distractions. And I keep forgetting my camera when I actually have gigs. Just as well, it helps me focus on what I'm doing more anyway. But I've got something cool here for today. This is a shortwave UV lamp. Now, uh, generally these run about two bills for a decent one, but uh, I managed to get this one cheap off of eBay. And uh, it is, well, it's old, it's beat up, and it's only got a 4 watt lamp in it. So it doesn't have a very high output, but it's definitely shortwave UV light. Now shortwave UV runs in the 254 nanometer wavelength. Very teeny tiny little waves. Uh, not that long waves are gigantic, long wave light is gigantic or anything, but it's 366 nanometers. And then you have the uh, LED UV lights which run about 395 to 405 nanometers which is just in the cusp of human being, what human beings can see. What I've done is prepared a series of still images as I found out they, uh, they turn out a lot better than when I try to take motion uh, video of, of low light phenomenon with this camera. Comparing uh, several different minerals, that are, uh, different minerals and materials under the various UV sources so you can see in, uh, what the uh, different substances look like under different UV sources. I used an uh, inexpensive UV flashlight, LED flashlight, so the uh, UV isn't too overwhelming. And I used a fluorescent bulb black light for my long wave source. And the short wave source is the lamp I just showed you. So, here's a series of images comparing different minerals and materials under LED black lights, a long wave fluorescent tube black light, and short wave UV light.